In this video, I'm going to be talking about entry level cybersecurity certification in 2022. My name is Andrew Ramdiel, and I'm one of the instructors here at the Technical Institute of America. I teach mostly cybersecurity classes. I'm also a pen tester, and I hold over 60 different certifications. Now, let's get right into this. Uh, and in this video, I really want to clear up a lot of myths that you're going to hear when trying to research what is the best certification that you should be getting when entering cybersecurity. And believe me, guys, there is a lot of false information, written articles written by people that I would seriously doubt whether they have any actual IT security experience. I'm a pen tester. I actually have real IT security experience. I've started from knowing nothing to building it up to teaching certified ethical hacker uh, and, and many other of these quote unquote hacking certifications. So one of the things I'm going to start out by giving you a statement and I want you to remember this statement throughout your entire career. It's a statement that I've lived by. It's a statement that I tell my students all the time that, and it goes like this. You cannot secure what you don't understand. Okay. You will never be able to apply certain types of policies, certain types of procedures to a device or a system if you don't know how it works. How do you secure a router if you don't even know how the router works? And with that, let's get into the certifications. So if you want to get into cybersecurity here in 2022, my number one certification, now this is assuming you have no IT background. If you have no IT background, my number one certification I would tell you to take is your A plus certification. In A plus, you're going to learn things like uh, taking apart a computer and putting it back together, uh, knowing all the components, all the hardware, installing Windows, installing Linux, knowing how Mac OS works, knowing their utilities, knowing basic Linux command. Now you just realized I didn't say much about security there, and you're saying, hey, Andrew, that doesn't sound like IT security. Correct, but remember what I told you. You can't secure something if you don't know how it works. Now just stay with me. Don't stop the video yet. I'll, I'll explain why I'm telling you this. The next certification that I would recommend you get after A+, is Network Plus, CompTIA's Network Plus. This is a certification that's going to teach you the basics of the OSI model, the basics of how computers connect, the functionality of network and device, like what's the difference between a router and a switch and a hub. It's going to teach you uh, IP addressing, which is a big thing in all networking and all security. So you get your Network Plus. Then, and it's only then, I would recommend for you to go after a cybersecurity certification. After you have your A+, plus, your Network+, plus, then go and take Security+, plus, which is not as many entry-level IT cybersecurity certifications. You have Microsoft MTA, you have ISE Squares, uh, SSCP, you have ISACA made another one called uh, CSX. Now, the one I recommend is CompTIA's uh, security plus it is the most popular and most known cybersecurity entry level cybersecurity certification in the world so you would do your a plus your network plus then your security plus why because once again you can't secure what you don't know a lot of concepts that is taught to you in security class whether it's security plus or certified ethical hacker cissp and so on all these security classes, the concepts that's taught in those classes or the concepts that you're going to read in those books would assume you have basic computer knowledge, basic knowledge of how hardware works, of how the operating system works, of how networking works, what are IP addresses. If you don't have those particular background and you study Security Plus, you're going to be at a loss. But if you have those background, it'll make a lot more sense. One of the things I tell young people is this. Uh, study in cybersecurity. Security is not the beginning of your studies. Security is more towards the end of your studies in IT. Don't start out with Security Plus. Start out with A Plus and Network Plus. As your career progress, you're going to learn a lot. When you get into to, to Security Plus, you do a lot of labs, especially if you do my class. You do a lot of labs. And I'm going to assume that you know basic Linux command. I'm going to assume you know basic Windows command. I'm going to assume you at least know how to install Windows. If you don't know how to install Windows or Linux or never played in a Linux environment, do not do cybersecurity. Okay, learn those things first. 
That's why you need your A+. If you don't know the difference between public and private IP, or, or can tell me how many subnets in a slash 28 IP address, do not do security plus or any cybersecurity certification for that matter. What you should be doing is your A plus, do your network plus, then do it. Okay, so th that's my recommendation for those of you guys that want to get into cybersecurity. A plus, net plus, security plus, that should be good enough. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing some live streams coming up over the next couple of weeks. For those of you guys that are studying for your CompTIA certifications, join me in those live streams. And I hope to see you in the next video.